All right, this is John Cola with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. And I love when I do raw food rush reviews and today is another one. I'm here traveling here. I'm in St. Petersburg, you know, near Tampa, Florida. Um, and I'm here at the Old Earth Pure Organic Food Juices and Smoothies. Now this is a plant-based or vegan cafe. Um, I guess everything in there except two items are raw, so that's really cool. They have lots of juices and smoothies and a small limited menu. In addition, they produce a whole line of foods that you may be able to find at better health food stores and other stores near you. They create different products that you guys will learn about. Um, we're here at 6105 54th Street North, which is actually just down from the hotel I'm staying at this trip. And uh, I'm gonna basically eat my lunch, so let's head inside and share with you guys what I mean for lunch and give you guys a review of this raw food cafe. All right, so the first thing I wanna let you guys know about are the hours. This is critical. Um, they actually, this although this is a cafe and they do serve food here, right? Their primary business is not making food and serving people. It's actually, you know, producing uh, the food in a commercial kitchen that then is sold at different retail establishments around the area. And so they have actually very limited hours. They actually are only open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from 11 to 6. And then on Saturday, they're only open 11 to 5. <laughs> so because I normally get to restaurants really late in the day, I, I, I was trying to go last night, but it was like 5.56, and I'm like, oh, that place closed in like five minutes. Guess I'm not going today. So today I, I came here a bit earlier for lunch. And so uh, be aware of that. That's one of the negatives of this cafe, in my opinion, is their limited hours. But on the flip side, I'm glad they're open and they just don't have a commercial kitchen where they're producing the products, in which case they would not have a cafe whatsoever. One of the cool things they do do at the cafe is actually they use some of the products that they sell at local health food stores and they use it in recipes to show you guys actually how you guys could use it should you buy like an onion bread or some other kind of flat bread they sell. Anyways, uh, let's head into the cafe and show you guys around. All right, let's give you guys a tour of this cafe. Now this is a very small cafe. Once you walk in, you're gonna see a, a cooler and this is where you can buy some of the products to go. And some of these products are the same very products that they sell in local health food stores and whatnot. So they have the uh, lemon coconut delights. Um, you know, all packaged, ready to go. They have a chocolate cheesecake, raw vegan that you can buy and take. Looks super delicious. They also have a raw um, organic carrot cake, non-GMO. Uh, the prices on the cakes are $6 a slice, which seems reasonable, you know. Um, some of the raw food restaurants I've been to, sometimes it's like $10. They also make uh, fresh sauerkraut, raw, here, never pasteurized. And they have a Czech style sauerkraut, they're basically a standard sauerkraut recipe with, ex with onions. And then they have a classic kraut without the onions, $7 for 16 ounce, produced here on site. They also do grow their own sunflower sprouts. This is something I think every restaurant should do is grow some of the food they're serving. So they grow the sunflower sprouts as well as the pea shoots here. And they also will sell those to you guys. In addition, they make different spreads and all these spreads are vacuum sealed. So you get nice, good shelf life out of them. They have a scallion spread, a mushroom pate, a pesto spread, and a dill spread. And one of the cool things is the pesto spread does not contain any oil. I don't, I don't know if any of these items actually contain oil. So they try to minimize the oil use whenever possible, although they are not completely oil free. Some items do contain some oil. In addition, they do, produce, they do sell a local water kefir, which actually I like for your probiotics, and then they make their own uh, walnut flatbreads and caraway breads that are organic, non-GMO, vegan, and gluten-free. So, uh, you know, this is, a, although they call it a bread, it's really more like a cracker, because um, it's not that fluffy bread consistency that actually I do not recommend you guys eat. The cafe is actually nicely decorated with a few pictures, and then there's a whole big, basically, wall menu board, which I think is really nice. Um, we'll go over in a minute. And then they have uh, some more different products you guys could buy. These are also sold in stores locally. They got the uh, onion wraps, which are raw onion wraps, a package of four, $8.50. They also have a chili lime candied almonds that are basically uh, sprouted, uh, you know, almonds. Then they have their raw veggie chips. I do like their font that they're using, and it says no oil, not baked, not fried. 
So there are uh, veggie chips being sold in the store under a major brand name. I will not mention the name, but they, I, do, I do not believe they're no longer raw because they do not um, you know, disclose the temperature and they're being produced in mass production. So these ones are actually, these ones are actually a better price than the ones sold in the store actually. They're six fifty, four twenty five. dollars You come and buy them here. If you buy them at a local retail store, they might be a little, long, a little bit more. And then of course down below, you can educate yourself about eating plants and eating raw foods by many books that you can take a look at while you are here. Now inside the cafe, they basically have two tables, so not too much uh, tables, uh, places to sit. So you could also take things to go, which is really nice, and there's a nice park across the street. Next, let's go over some of the different uh, menu items that they're offering. All right, so the first thing I'll let you guys know that they do use organic produce here, 100% organic, and now they have the different juices. This is cold, fresh, and fresh, and all these are made to order. So, you know, I'm not a big fan of the juice bars. I basically will make the juice, put it in a bottle, it'll sit on the shelf for hours or even days before you guys buy it. You know, once you order, they go in the back and they literally make it with the best juicer that's gonna produce the highest amount of nutrition in the juice. They use a Twin Gear Green Star Pro Juicer, which I did see. It is also a commercial certified juicer. That's really cool. And uh, let's see, they have different juices. They range at $8.50 to $10. My two favorite juices are uh, number one, the uh, heart beet, which is beet, uh, carrot, cucumber, apple, and lemon. And then my the green vitality is my second favorite, which is uh, celery, cucumber, kale, and or spinach, cilantro, and partially lemon and ginger. Uh, let's next go over to the different smoothies that they offer. All right, so now I want to show you guys the smoothies they make here. And actually, the cool thing about the smoothies is they're 100% organic. And actually, for the most part, they make smoothies like I would make smoothies at home, right? They're not like going out and buying like coconut milk out of a carton or some kind of like crappy soy milk out of a carton, right? And just putting that in the smoothie and then blending it up for you guys. They're actually making fresh juices. So most of the smoothies are actually based around fresh juices that they actually make their own, they make themselves fresh. So like they might use orange juice as the base of the smoothie and then add additional fruits and other things in there to basically give you guys a real food smoothie. Now some of the recipes like the Twisted Lemon and the Blue Hawaiian, that may use like lemon water and they juice the lemons fresh you know, as the base, or might just have like a blue Hawaiian, they use water. Now when they are using water, they're using a purified um, reverse osmosis water, so you don't have to worry about any kind of fluoride or any kind of chemicals or chlorine in there. So I mean, that's really cool, because I think most places definitely cut corners when they make their smoothies. In addition, I mean, instead of even getting a smoothie, I would rather get a nut milk shake, and they're nut milk shakes, right? They make coconut milk fresh here, they don't buy coconut milk in a package, right? They get the coconuts, they crack them, they basically make the milk. I saw the press they have to press out their coconut milk. They actually ruined the juicer by making coconut milk in the juicer. And, uh, and the nut milk basically that has the nut milk as the base, so the coconut milk, which, you know, once again, when you add some fats to the smoothies or the juices you're drinking, you're gonna get higher absorption of some of the different phytochemicals and phytonutrients in there. So my favorite is the carrot cake because literally they're using the coconut milk uh, with uh, fresh, cold pressed carrot, ginger juice, banana, coconut milk, and cinnamon. That sounded, that sounds so delicious to me. I mean, they do have a peanut butter nut milk, and so the peanut butter is the only thing in here that actually they don't make on site. They do get a good organic, like, or, you know, peanut butter with no added sugar in there. So uh, yeah, let's uh, move on to the main uh, food items they offer. All right, so they have lots of different juices and smoothies. Now their food menu is actually a little bit smaller because all this is also made to order much like their juices and smoothies. And they have a salad and they have a quinoa and green salad, a shroom salad. And so the quinoa is, uh, you know, cooked quinoa. So that's, a, that's one of the other exceptions here of things that are not raw. And then a shroom salad, which is basically, uh, you know, mushrooms and, um, you know, greens on it. Then they have open faced breads, and I do breads in quotes because it's not a real bread, it's basically a flat bread that they dehydrated, so that is raw also. They have a PB&B, and &B, that's a peanut butter and banana, with a peanut butter that is, you know, uh, store-bought, uh, with banana and cinnamon, and a house-made zucchini walnut bread for $4.25, that's probably the cheapest open face flat bread item I've ever seen at any raw food restaurant. They have a pesto flat bread, also really affordably priced at $4.25. Uh, rich dairy free pesto, which is oil free, that's impressive. Uh, on top of our house made caraway bread with tomato slices. And then they have wraps and more. And so today I got actually a veggie wrap. It's uh, made on their house made onion wrap. 
And it says, this mouth-watering sandwich starts with base of our cashew, zucchini, hummus, and guacamole, stuffed with tomato, cucumber, mix, my greens, and my greens. Then they have a zucchetti alfredo. So this is like their take on spaghetti, but no pasta is cooked in the back here. They basically will take zucchinis and spiralize them and cut them in a special way so that they look like pasta. Not only is zucchini, zucchini pasta at least 10 times healthier than standard pasta you would eat, it's also fresher and lower calorie, more nutritious for you. But it's a little bit different, you know. Actually, I prefer it better. And so they have a house-made dairy free Alfredo sauce topped with tomato that goes on top of the Zucchetti Alfredo. And they have a small 625 and a large 1250. And then they have a bacon chip and hummus, which is their raw dehydrated whole vegetable chips made in-house with the cashew zucchini hummus. And they have a tostada for $8, which is dehydrated corn-free veggie shell topped with guacamole, spread, mushroom pate, lemon, tomato, onion, and cashew, and chive sour cream. So yeah, that's the other menu item that I ordered. Finally, they have a couple of specials that may not be on their menu item regularly, but they're here on a little board where you order. And they have a chives on caraway. They also have a kraut flatbread, which is the other item I got for five bucks. So like, once again, Let's talk about affordability. Like these are extremely good prices. I mean, I've been to probably the most raw food restaurants of anybody that I know, and I've made the most raw food restaurant videos of anybody that I know on YouTube that I'm aware of. And these are the, probably the most affordable prices that you'll find at any raw food restaurant for a raw food meal. And then they have a kraut salad, and then they have more milks and shakes, uh, just different kinds. So, so far this place looks amazing to me. I mean, it's pretty kind of sparse, but that's all right. You know, you don't want too many options because it gets people too confused on giving them too many things on what to figure out. So this is nice and simple. As soon as I walked in, I knew I wanted that, 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 because it sounded really cool. And actually, uh, the owners actually knew me because they'd seen my videos online. And so actually, I got invited back into the kitchen to actually show you guys what goes on behind the scenes. All right, so now I'm gonna give you guys actually a behind the scenes tour, a little behind the scenes tour of the kitchen here. And this is the commercial kitchen where they make a lot of different products that they sell in local stores. Also where they're gonna prepare your food fresh literally as you wait. So I think I actually see my food ready. I've just been talking and making a little video and all of a sudden the food's ready. So that's amazing. This is probably also one of the fastest service I've gotten at a raw food restaurant, but also it's pretty quiet today in here. Um, yeah, so they have lots of different equipment. They have that, you know, uh, Green Star Pro Juicer. They have like the Vitamix, they have dehydrators, they have, you know, the, uh, the water, the sauerkraut that they're making, all kinds of stuff. Um, and what's, this kitchen is normally off limits, so you can't just start walking back here like I am today. I got special permission uh, from the owners. And you know, actually this is a family owned company, just a husband and wife team that make it all happen. So you're always gonna get a consistent product because they're the ones who will be making it. And this is what they do every day and they did say to me that it is really hard work and you know they feel that people are not appreciating it enough so hopefully when this video goes out if you guys live locally or even are traveling to the area i would encourage you guys to visit this place to help support them so that they stay in business continue to do this to provide healthy options for the community because it's quite unfortunate that most people in living in the community here or many places around the country especially if you guys aren't watching me <laughs> You guys aren't aware of like how this is like some of the most nutritious food at any restaurant that you could put in your body, including some of the sprouts that they grew themselves, you know, here. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and give you guys a quick uh, tour of uh, two of the different areas of the kitchen. All right, so what we're looking at now are their dehydrators. So they use the Excalibur brand dehydrators that they dehydrate the food. It looks like one of the dehydrators set for 115 degrees, so they're going to keep it under 118 degrees. Keep that as important enzymes active although that being said you know my goal is not to eat dehydrated food for my enzymes I eat, I'm eating fresh fruits and vegetables as well as the sprouts and microgreens for my enzymes they contain significantly more nutrients than dehydrated foods as well as the enzymes right and here's the cool thing right they got the dehydrators going and at some of these guys you can actually purchase online so maybe you guys are never in the area can't get to one of the local stores you guys can go to their website and buy some of these uh, veggie chips that once again I thought was an amazing deal for the the 4.25 five ounce package you know um, I'll be tasting them in just a little bit so I'll let you guys know what I think and in addition they will sell their caraway bread online I think I'm getting some of this uh, in one of the sandwiches I'm getting or I'm gonna hopefully try this for you guys let you guys know what I think and I'll be the first to tell you right 
it, when I first got into raw foods, I started dehydrating things and making crackers and breads, but you know what? I don't have the time for that. I eat more fresh food now, which is actually a good thing. But sometimes I miss those kind of things, right? So I'm glad that they're here literally slaving away in the kitchen to make this available for you guys that don't want to have time or don't want to make yourself. These are not super complicated recipes uh, to make. And of course, you can order the zucchini walnut flatbread right here. And once again, these are more like crackers than, than bread, but these are bread to people who eat raw foods. And uh, they got the uh, onion wrap. So these are nice, flexible wraps. Look at that, I can twist it in half and they're not cracking, they're staying nice and flexible. And uh, they just sound really good by the sounds of it. And actually, I got one of the wraps actually in the meal. So I'll get to try this and let you guys know how it tastes. All right, so this is the area where actually they make their sauerkrauts here fresh by taking fresh produce, grating it up, adding their special magic to it, and then putting in these old school, non-plastic, and these are basically ceramic um, fermentation crocs. And they got the nice water level in here, so you're not gonna get that bad bacteria in there, and it's basically gonna burp itself, so you get perfect sauerkraut every single time. And uh, you know, people, just sauerkraut's bad, man, it's rotten food. Well, you know, so here's the thing, like, in my opinion, sauerkraut is a beneficial food, because if sauerkraut allows you to eat more vegetables than you otherwise would have, like, I'd rather turn, you know, cabbage into sauerkraut instead of cooked cabbage, because that's like killing the life force, killing the enzymes, when you ferment sauerkraut in the cabbage, you create probiotics, lots of probiotics, which actually I would rather take in the form of sauerkraut than in like a little, you know, white crystalline powder capsule that has been made in a factory or laboratory. In addition, as the cabbage is fermenting, the bacteria that are basically digesting it and cause a sauerkraut and that that sour, uh, you know, taste to occur also produces other nutrients as well. So, you know, my diet is not made out of sauerkraut or fermented foods, but I like a little bit of sauerkraut in with my fruits and vegetables, well, especially vegetables, to give me a little bit of extra flavor as well as some probiotics with my meals. And, you know, here's one of the products that they, they sell here. You'll have to come here to buy this um, if you want to get their fresh made uh, krauts. So I decided to get also a carrot cake shake to go because it sounds so good for me. And actually, I was, when I was filming a little bit earlier, I saw them literally squeezing out the nut milk you know, fresh from the coconut uh, for the carrot cake shake. In addition, you know, they don't cut corners here. It's not like they have like, you know, uh, carrot and ginger juice in the fridge ready to like pour in, you know? They don't get a lot of business through here, so it might go bad if they made it. So they're making this to order, right? So they're juicing the, the carrots up and they're juicing the fresh ginger for that carrot cake shake that you guys saw. And they're using the TriBest Green Star Pro. This is the right commercial juicer to use to produce the highest quality juice with the most nutrition of any of the juicers that actually I sell, and that is my business. I will give a disclaimer at discountjuicers.com. I have many different juicer video reviews if you guys want to find out the right juicer for you. So I'm glad to see that they don't just have like a home juicer they're using here at their cafe. They're using the right commercial juicer to get the highest yield, which is going to actually save in produce costs, but also provide the customers the highest quality juice that's fresh made, not sitting around like many juice bars you would go to. In addition, many juice bars these days use like the cold press machines, which basically grind and press things out. And in my opinion, that does not produce the highest quality juice. And a twin gear auger juicer like this will produce a higher quality juice. Why do I know this? Because you could actually look at the juice through like, through the light and you'll see this is a much more deeper, richer pigmented color. And you know, all the different pigments are more nutrients in there, in my opinion, and also based on scientific testing. That I've seen, so I'm really happy that they are making the uh, using the Green Star Pro to make the juice that's going in my smoothie. All right, so I've been here filming this whole video for so long for 35 minutes, and as luck would have it, actually, all my food is already done. It was actually done a lot faster than 35 minutes. All these things were done really quickly, and then in addition, the owners have put together for me just a little sampling plate, actually, so I could try some of these things for my review. This is not normally sold like this, but maybe if you ask special, they'll create something like this for you, uh, so that I could actually share with you guys what some of the different items uh, they offer, uh, you know, here, like for sale, so you could take take it home and make different recipes with. Uh, taste like. So actually, uh, I'm quite hungry because all I've eaten today actually is a juice. I had a juice from Trader Joe's, the HPP juice uh, that I like to drink when I travel, 32 ounces. It's like a green juice. So uh, let's eat. All right, so check this out, man. What an incredible spread here I got of food. It's gonna be so amazing. 
So some of these are menu items and some of these are just little samples, all right? So uh, this is that kraut flatbread here. And uh, this is only five bucks right here, right? And it's, uh, it's got, I think it's got the caraway on there, some cu cucumber, some kraut, sour kraut they made fresh here, the tomato, and some uh, microgreens, like it uh, looks like pea sprouts on the top. Next, we got that wrap. This looks like a delicious wrap. I mean, this is kind of the wraps that I want you guys to eat if you want to eat healthy. It's basically just a wrap, the onion bread with a little bit of the sauce, one of the sauces, with the uh, lettuce and sunflower greens they grew here, and uh, zucchini, just uh, you know, with a little um, toothpick to hold it together. Eight dollars for this. And then we got that tostada. This tostada looks amazing to me. It's uh, it's got their uh, the little round tostada, which is actually the same, I think, as their veggie chips, as well as a different kind of uh, sauce. I think it's got like a mushroom pate sauce on there, some greens, cilantro, um, a different sauce, like maybe a cashew sauce on top, and some tomatoes. So yeah, amazing. In addition, I got a few samples. Uh, this is like a chocolate um, smoothie here, for maybe a blueberry muffin smoothie. And then I got a carrot cake smoothie. I'm probably gonna drink a little bit of this for sampling, then I'm gonna probably take the rest to go, because this is getting to be a lot. And so those are the ones you could order, and then some of these guys are the ones you guys could order at home if you want. Uh, these are those veggie chips that really look good to me so much, that are actually a really good price. I'm looking forward to trying this. And then they got the di uh, different flatbreads. So I got one flatbread um, underneath the caraway flatbread, I believe, over there. And then I think this is like the walnut flatbread here. And then I got different sour. I got a standard sauerkraut sample to try. Um, this is also this is a different kind of sauerkraut they make with the red cabbage. They also make one with um, celery root, and all this depends on produce availability. Uh, so you know they don't have these. They don't. They won't have those other two here always, but they'll always have some kraut usually. In addition, they got the vegan pesto that you can buy pre-made that can store for I don't even know like maybe eight to ten weeks once you buy it and then they have the uh, the dill spread sample and then um, yeah and then also I think in one of the recipes I also am getting the scallion spread and the mushroom pate I think that's actually in the tostada oh and then we got the uh, I think we got the hummus we got a sample of the hummus this is only used in the recipes here on site and then we got that alfredo sauce which is a sauce that goes on the zucchini pasta so uh, this is really a cool little treat for me to try some of these and also to share with you guys what I think about all the flavor and taste sensation. So first, I'm gonna try the smoothies first. And so we got that uh, first, the blueberry uh, smoothie. Wow. It tastes good, you know. Let's see, if I was at home, I'd probably add like a lot more superfood like berry powders, but that would make it really expensive. But overall, this is a nice smoothie. I really taste the uh, the richness of it and the blueberries. Actually, that's a blueberry muffin, so I think they maybe have some kind of like cinnamon in there, which boosts the antioxidant content. Now, this is the chocolate. Oh my gosh. This chocolate smoothie, I swear. Like when I was a kid, my dad would take me to McDonald's, which he would never do anymore, and I hope my dad does not eat at McDonald's anymore either. But I swear this reminds me of that chocolate milkshake that I used to get at McDonald's as a kid. Wow, and it's made with, you know, the raw cacao. Hmm. Definitely one of the best chocolate uh, smoothies I've ever had. Right, because it's made with a fresh squeezed coconut milk. Now we're just gonna try a sample of this one. This is that carrot cake smoothie with the, the, the juices blended into the coconut milk. This is also something that actually I would make at home because instead of just having the coconut milk plain, you could up the nutrition in the coconut milk by adding that ginger, which is an anti-inflammatory as well as coconut, high in the beta carotene, and I'm not beta carotene deficient according to my latest blood test. It's probably because all the vegetables I eat Wow, oh my God, that's one of the best smoothies that I've ever tasted in my life. I'm not joking with you guys. This smoothie blows away the other two by far. I love this, but I regularly juice carrots and ginger, but I rarely will add it into coconut milk. So maybe I'll have to start doing that at home. This is completely amazing. I'm not gonna ruin 
the rest of my food by drinking this, and we're gonna go ahead and put this back in the cooler, and I'm gonna take it to go in a little bit. Oh, and I wanted to mention, they, no plastic straws here, guys. They have paper straws, which I think is uh, definitely really cool. The other thing that's really cool is that all the produce waste um, from this location is actually composted off-site, uh, so they're not contributing to the landfill. And neither are you when you're supporting uh, the restaurant here. So before I start trying some of these different items, I want to go ahead and read you guys off the ingredients in some of these guys, because you guys aren't here to read them and I didn't read them off earlier specifically. And actually I'm quite impressed with the ingredients that they're using here to prepare some of the food. So for example, what impressed me the most is their vegan pesto. Why? Most vegan pestos have tons of oil, and oil, I'm sorry, it's not a health food. I do have videos on this talking about oil is not a health food. It's not a whole food, it's a highly processed and fractionated food. Oil is just as bad as you is as white sugar, in my opinion, uh, in most cases, unless it's like a high DHA algae oil that I do take in small quantities myself. So uh, this uh, vegan pesto here, the ingredients are, number one, fresh basil, uh, fresh kale, pine nuts, fresh squeezed lemon juice, Himalayan pink salt, and love. And that's it, right? And many different, many, many of the ingredients actually are organic themselves. So I mean, this is the kind of pesto that I would actually make at home. Hopefully they just don't add too much salt, but they need to have enough salt in there so that for most people, it's gonna taste good, all right? Next is they're better than sour cream. If you guys are hooked on, you know, sour cream, that's a dairy product, get off that stuff as soon as you can. Dairy products, in my opinion, are even worse than eating meats and whatnot. Not that I advocate eating meats by any means. Vegetables and fruits are definitely healthier than meats. So you could always ask yourself, you know, this is always healthier than that, right? And can't get too much healthier than these microgreens that they grew here fresh, all right? Anyways, the ingredients in this is uh, cashew cream, which is cashews and filtered water, uh, fresh scallion, fresh squeezed lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and Himalayan pink salt and love. And once again, many organic ingredients. This is also a very clean recipe, something that I might make at home. Now, the other thing I wouldn't do at home is I wouldn't eat this whole container in one sitting. I use it to spread on something as like a sauce or a dressing, you know? So this is like a perfect idea here. They got the flatbread, they put the sauce on there, so you're eating a little bit of sauce, but then you're eating mostly vegetables on the top. And that's how I would recommend you guys use some of these sauces. And of course, you guys can get their breads to make, make something easy. I mean, really with this bread and this, uh, this sauce, you could make something like this. All you really need to do is add the cut up fresh vegetables and some sauerkraut, which you could actually also purchase here. So this bread has the uh, um, flax seeds in there, the golden flax, the sunflower kernels, fresh unpasteurized um, Spanish almonds, fresh squeezed lemon juice, caraway seeds, and Himalayan pink salt and uh, many organic items as well. So I mean, this is something that actually I would make myself. Now these flatbreads should be kept refrigerated, you know, for best results, uh, to, to keep their nice texture on them and to preserve them for longer. All right, so I've definitely worked up a big appetite after basically filming now for 54 minutes and not even eating anything yet except those little smoothies that I've had and I've been smelling the food and just savoring the food. I can't wait to eat it. Uh, so first, I want to go ahead and uh, dip into some of these different samples. The first sample I'm going to try is a zucchini walnut flatbread. I'm going to have this plain first. Wow. That's a really good flatbread. I mean, it has an amazing flavor. I can't even say what it's like. It's like nothing I've tasted before. The other thing, unlike many different crackers I've had in the past, because they keep it refrigerated and don't dehydrate it to a crisp, it is still a little bit moist, which I really like a lot, you know, in terms of the texture. So I definitely would give a thumbs up for this guy. Next, oh, we got those little veggie crackers. I want to try these so bad, so that's what these look like. And uh, definitely better than ones I've seen sell in the store. And uh, let's check them out, see if they got a crunch. Mmm. Nice and crunchy, and I think even a bee with a crazy cracker later, lady, <laughs> would give her a thumbs up. These guys are good. All right, so how you can make the cracker even better is by adding one of the different sauces or pâtés to it. I'll probably be doing that a little bit off camera, but what I'm gonna do is try for you guys the different um, sauces they serve. Some of them you can take to go, and some of them they only make here. Uh, this is the pesto here. 
This is a pesto with, uh, you know, the primary ingredient is basil, next ingredient is kale. Wow, man, I do not miss the oil in this pesto one bit. It has every bit of flavor and that nice creaminess that I'm expecting. Also because it's got the basil and the kale, throws it up in the next hemisphere in terms of the health value. All right, next we got the, I think this is a scallion uh, cream sauce or something right here. So we're gonna go ahead and try a little bit of that. Oh my gosh. That is so delicious, some of the best stuff I've tasted. Um, it just, it reminds me of like the sour cream with like chives in it, like honestly. Let's see, next we got the, the hummus, and this hummus actually only comes in like uh, some of the different recipes they use on site. I don't think they sell this, so you could take, maybe if you did want to request it special, you could take it, but uh, you know, once, if you do buy this to go, you know, they, it does not last that long in the fridge, that's why they don't normally sell this one. But this is the hummus. Uh, oh yeah, it's bean free. It's made with uh, nuts and um, zucchini. Wow. To me, this has the flavor of traditional a traditional hummus without the beans. <laughs> now I will say that I think you know eating beans, even if they are heat processed and then fermented, are definitely a beneficial thing. And actually, at a local health food store, I was able to buy unpasteurized. A Florida made a tempeh from azuki beans that was previously frozen. I like to eat it fresh, but I'm actually defrosting it as we speak so I get to eat that later on my trip. All right, the last sauce I'm going to try is the Alfredo sauce right here. And this is the very sauce that would actually come with that uh, zucchini uh, pasta that they serve here. So we're going to try a little dabber of that. So the Alfredo sauce, I really don't remember what Alfredo sauce, like traditional Alfredo sauce should taste like, so I will not comment on that. And I also will say that that was my least likely, um, least like sauce of all of them. I think if I had to say my favorite, I'd say it's the, the pesto because it's got the kale and the basil, two, you know, super herbs and vegetables in their own right, plus everything else is so delicious. Probably my next favorite, actually, was that uh, that chive sour cream stuff, all right? Let's do last two samples that I got to taste for you guys here. We got this uh, red um, red cabbage uh, sauerkraut stuff here. I love sauerkraut, love this fresh. It'd probably even better if you um, you know mixed it into one of the uh, sauces and then just put it on the chips. Actually, that's how I'm probably gonna eat this whole plate here, but we'll try this fresh for you guys. Mmm. Sauerkraut is excellent. I've tasted many sauerkrauts. A lot of sauerkrauts to me are like way too salty. To me, this is not like overly salted like many of the packaged sauerkrauts you may find. It actually has like a really nice flavor to it. It's like that, that probiotic, like zingy flavor. And still a good crunch. When I tend to make sauerkraut, I tend to over ferment them. They get soft and mushy. But this is fermented to like the tea, like perfectly in my opinion. All right, finally we're gonna try the standard uh, sauerkraut here. And let's uh, see what this one tastes like. I would always encourage you guys to get the red sauerkraut first because it's made with uh, you know the red cabbage. Red cabbage is more nutritious than the standard green one. And uh, this has like some caraway seeds on it. Mm. Also a really good sauerkraut. I really like how they shred up the cabbage to like the right thickness and texture. Really good. Although I will have to say I did prefer the red cabbage sauerkraut. The flavor was just more exquisite. This one's still good. And definitely on the upper echelon of all the different raw crafts I've ever had. I came from the Natural Products Expo where I generally get to sample um, different kinds of sauerkrauts from like some of the main manufacturers of the rock sauerkraut sold in stores and these two in my opinion blown away. I think I'm going to finish up this sample plate and then I'm going to start hitting out my main uh, menu items and we'll be back at you when I do. Man, it's just having a fun time here. I just finished off that whole sample plate here and now I'm going to get into the main different items that I ordered. I think what I'll do is I'll try a bite for you guys. I'll let you guys know what I think and then I'm going to just finish everything off camera and come back with my complete review 
at the end. So uh, this is that uh, kraut uh, flatbread here. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and try one bite here. And once again, I think this is on the, uh, the caraway um, uh, flatbread that I didn't get to try like as a small sample. Mmm. Excellent. I really taste the caraway. It reminds me of like that bread that I used to have that my grandmother would buy. I think pepper-nickel bread when I was a kid just got the caraway in there. It's got just the right amount of sauce, not too much, not too little. It's got the fresh veggies and the sauerkraut. And actually, honestly, here's the thing. This is actually something that I would actually make at home. And that's why I love this restaurant so much or this cafe. Because it's like what I would make at home, but I'm away from home. Normally at Rockwood restaurants, I can't find this level of simplicity, yet complexity and nutrition all at one place at one time. And also more importantly, at an affordable price. I don't even know if I could make it for this cheap for five bucks if I was home. Amazing. And that's one of the things here about the, about the cafe is that the owners, uh, you know, the, the husband-wife team, the wife has been eating raw food's dad for nine years and over time she's learning, adjusting, and honestly, you know, most of the items they make here are things that they would regularly eat themselves. And you know, in their personal diets, they don't eat a lot of oil, so they just thought like, hey, we don't need to add a lot of oil to our things. A lot of recipes don't need it, although some do, but a lot of them don't, so they just don't put them in the recipe anymore. And that's really good because that brings a level of health up higher. That also means that people coming here to eat will get even more benefits without being slugged up or clogged up with olive oil that may slow down your digestion, slow down you know, the blood transporting your body, and you're getting healthier food. Of course, the other recommendation I would get or make is to include even more greens. So let's eat something with more fresh greens on it next. Next, we're gonna go ahead and try the tostada for you guys. And uh, this one has a lot more greens on it. It's got the cilantro cut up on there, as well as maybe some lettuce, some tomatoes, some of that sour cream I like so much. And we got basically that uh, round chip here and a nice little unit staying together uh, perfectly even though it's been sitting around a little bit. Let me see if I can get a nice huge bite of this here. Mmm. Got some of the sauerkraut. A little lots of tomato on there. Yeah, this one I definitely like more than that kraut flatbread for sure. Got a lot of green. I mean, it has enough flavor on there, enough little, you know, little bit of sauces for some fat. The flat bread adds its own flavor to the whole mix, or the little crust, tostada crust there. Super good, super delicious. This is probably my favorite thing at the restaurant so far. All right, lastly, we're gonna go ahead and try that veggie wrap for you guys, let you guys know what I think of it. And I guess this is wrap because I guess you got vegetables wrap, but it's not like a regular circle of wrap. I like that this is actually an oblong wrap, so you can actually they can fit more in it, and uh, makes it a little bit easier to eat here. So we're just gonna go ahead and go to one side and uh, shove a big uh, piece in my mouth and chew. Mmm. Wow. It even gets better and better, like this almond, or the uh, onion flatbread stuff, or the wrap roll things. I love the flavor, it like, tastes like onion. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like onion rings to me. I haven't eaten onion rings in forever. I do not recommend buying or eating uh, you know, fried foods. It's the most pro-aging food in the world. Whereas like something dehydrated in onions and all the fresh fruits and vegetables here. I would consider anti-aging food so you can get younger by eating here. And definitely I'm gonna say that it keeps getting better and better here. Like, I think, I, I don't know if I like this one the most, or this one the most, but this is like seven bucks, this is eight bucks, this is the healthiest stuff I've ever eaten at a raw food restaurant that definitely is the most tastiest. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish off camera for you guys and we'll come back at you. Uh, once I eat everything, have some more time to you know chew and uh, chew slowly and digest. And I uh, will let you know my final thoughts in just a minute. All right, so I just finished all the food here and I wanted to go ahead and leave you with my final reviews. Number one, I'm feeling a bit more 
mellow now. I mean, it is late in the day, and plus I just ate a lot of food. So my body has to go now into digestion mode and maybe take in energy from other areas of my body uh, to get all that food digested. I think in the end, I would like to say that I really would like to see more fresh vegetables on some of the food, maybe even some kind of like sprouts or more microgreens on there, more fresher food. Um, I think that the, um, the little wrap that I got, the vegetable wrap, should have maybe like, instead of like sliced cucumbers, like cute cucumbers, I was really looking for some kind of crunch. Maybe uh, shredded carrots would be good. I was looking for some kind of crunch that I just was not getting in that wrap. And I think in the end, I will have to say that I like the wrap the most. And then for a second best, I go to like the tostada. I think the tostada had like a lot of uh, mushroom pate that it, by the end I kind of got sick of and tired of. And of course, I would have liked to see more vegetables on there, like especially something with a crunch. I kind of missed that a lot. Um, and then of course on that um, sauerkraut, flatbread, more vegetables. I'm always going to tell everybody eat more vegetables. And the reason to eat some dehydrated or uh, foods or some sauces is so that you can even increase your percentage of fresh vegetables even greater. A raw foods diet should not be made out of dehydrated foods or sauces. It should be made out of fresh vegetables, microgreens and sprouts with some, you know, dehydrated and, uh, you know, sauces so that you'll eat more of them, right? So, uh, I mean, the balance was decent here, better than many restaurants I've seen, but I really want to increase the, the ratio of dehydrated and sauces to more fresh vegetables and even fresher fresh vegetables, right? The microgreens they served here were great. They are pretty fresh because they grow them themselves, but some of the lettuce and some of the other, uh, you know, produce um, probably could be a little bit better in my opinion. The tomatoes were just standard, like, you know, pink, pinkish tomatoes that probably didn't have a whole lot of flavor on their own. And of course, they do support local farmers when they're in season, and this is not quite the season for that. So of course, I would encourage also getting more and better, higher quality organic produce deliveries and or sourcing from local farmers whenever possible. Um, let's see, number two. Oh, on the outside of the building, I think it'd be really important to have the words like plant-based and, and raw out there or at least plant-based minimally. Plant, actually I wouldn't even say raw, I would say plant-based and healthy food or health food to let people know what they're getting into when they come in here is that they're gonna get some healthy food and it's plant-based. I wouldn't necessarily put the word vegan outside, um, you know, because I think uh, plant-based is a much more acceptable term to more people and as more people become aware that, hey, eating, actually I didn't even put whole food plant-based outside. Healthy whole food plant-based food I'd put somewhere on the assignment to outdoors to let the people passing by, which is a lot of people, let them know about this place exists because they definitely need to get more business. As I was here, there's like two other people here and pretty much the place has been empty. So that kind of makes me sad uh, that more people are not you know, supporting this place so that they can stay open, can stay in business. So I would encourage you guys, if you guys do live in the area, definitely come here. I think the food was quite healthy. Um, and I guess at the end, I will have to give this place my rating. I rate from zero to five apples. And I'm a tough reviewer, so I rarely give places high reviews. Um, you know, I will say this has one of the highest reviews I've given. I will say four out of five apples. Um, it would be higher if we had more greens in the, in the wraps and more fresh produce in the wraps and higher quality produce. Uh, and I think then we get the we get the five out of five. Maybe if they had a farm next door in the back, then I'd probably get the five out of five. But they're almost there. They got really clean food. This is probably one of my top two favorite raw food restaurants in the, that, that I have ever eaten at. Mother is Wildling Foods, which tends to have a pretty good vegetable to dehydrated and sauce ratio, although they tend to use more oil and actually the food is more salty there than here. And so definitely, I mean, we could combine both those into one. I think we'd have the, the best raw food restaurant, but until then, uh, definitely if I'm on this side of Florida, this is definitely a place I'll be visiting. So if you want to learn more about the Old Earth products and cafe here, you can check them out at oldearthveg.com. So I think that's pretty much it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed this fresh review, hey, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, be sure to share this video with somebody else that's going to be traveling here, um, you know, to the uh, area. And also share it with uh, your local Instagram groups and local Facebook and Twitter groups so that people can become more aware of this restaurant so it can stay around 
and even longer because when I first walked in, the owners were kind of like, well, I don't, we don't know what we're going to really do. It's just a lot of work and it doesn't really seem worth it to them. You know, people in the area are not appreciated. So give them your appreciation, show your support, come out and support them, support their online website. You can buy some of those different uh, things, uh, products that they sell on their website online. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on my new and upcoming episodes that have come out every five to seven days in order to know where I'll share or you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. Make sure to click the little bell so you get notified as my new videos come out. Uh, finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are well of knowledge over 500 episodes at this time on this YouTube channel. Uh, with more raw food restaurant views than anybody I know when I travel around the country, I like to stop and support local raw food restaurants. And I tell it like it is. Um, um, and I have lots of other information on eating a fruit and vegetable based diet, which is the healthiest diet on the planet in my opinion. Uh, so uh, with that, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best.